In the golden era of television, The Untouchables emerged as a gritty and captivating crime drama that etched its mark on the small screen in 1959. Chronicling the efforts of Elliot Ness and his team of incorruptible lawmen in Prohibition-era Chicago, the series showcased the relentless pursuit of justice against the notorious Al Capone and his criminal empire. As we delve into the intriguing tapestry of this classic show, one might ponder lesser-known facts or anecdotes that add layers to its narrative. Were you aware of the behind-the-scenes tales that shaped the production or the off-screen dynamics that mirrored the intensity on camera? A stellar cast, led by the iconic Robert Stack, brought these characters to life, each performance contributing to the show's enduring legacy. Amidst these classic Hollywood actors, who stood out as your personal favorite, the series boasted a roster of talents that left an indelible impression on the audience, providing an opportunity for fans to connect with the characters on a profound level. Now, let's open the floor to your cherished memories and personal experiences with The Untouchables. What moments from the show left an everlasting impact on you? Share your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear about the episodes that resonated with you or the unexpected ways the series became a part of your life. Your anecdotes enrich the collective tapestry of appreciation for this timeless TV gem. What's your story? Share it below and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of The Untouchables together. In The Untouchables, Robert Stack and Walter Winchell stood as the consistent pillars, appearing in all 119 episodes. This durability anchored the series, providing viewers with a reliable duo throughout its run. Interestingly, challenges arose from an unexpected source of the state of Al Capone. They contended that the show was exploiting the Capone name for unjust gains. This legal tussle added a layer of controversy to the series, highlighting the impact it had on those associated with the infamous Chicago gangster. Amidst the character dynamics, a notable divergence from the expected narrative unfolded. Agent Youngfellow, intended to be a full-blooded Cherokee from Oklahoma, took an unexpected turn. The role was portrayed by Abel Fernandez, a Latino actor, showcasing a deviation from the initial character concept. The blend of legal battles and character nuances contributed to the series' enduring intrigue. The consistent presence of Stack and Winchell, coupled with unexpected twists and character representation, kept audiences engaged throughout the entirety of The Untouchables. In retrospect, these facets reveal the intricacies that shaped the show beyond its initial conception, adding layers of complexity to the portrayal of Prohibition-era Chicago. The series' ability to navigate legal challenges and adapt character representations underscores its resilience in the face of external pressures. The Untouchables remains an emblematic piece of television history, marked by the steadfast performances of Stack and Winchell, the legal clashes it faced, and the unforeseen character developments that colored its narrative canvas. Nicholas Georgiade, the last surviving main cast member of this iconic series, passed away on December 19, 2021. His death marked the end of an era, closing the chapter on a show that defied conventions in more ways than one. One notable departure from the norm was the show's handling of language taboos. In the early 1950s, the Zulu productions faced restrictions on using the word pregnant on network television. However, when The Untouchables hit the screen towards the end of the decade, it broke new ground by openly addressing the subject of prostitution multiple times, a bold move that challenged the prevailing norms of the time. Adding to the series' uniqueness was its non-sequential episode structure. Unlike many shows, The Untouchables didn't adhere to a linear timeline. Viewers witnessed the death of Frank Nitti in one season, only to see him reappear in later episodes. This unconventional approach added a layer of complexity, keeping audiences on their toes as they navigated through the shifting timelines. In reflection, The Untouchables stands as a trailblazer, not just for its gripping narrative and stellar performances, but for its willingness to confront societal taboos and experiment with storytelling conventions. The passing of Nicholas Georgiade serves as a poignant reminder of the bygone era of this groundbreaking series, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the traditional boundaries of television. Walter Winchell, known for his rapid-fire narration, earned a hefty $25,000 per episode for The Untouchables. His machine-gun-like delivery could churn out nearly 200 words per minute. Meanwhile, portraying Frank Nitti, Bruce Gordon left a lasting impression despite the real Nitti's stature being just under 5'5". 
Interestingly, the series depicted Nitty as the acting head of the Capone organization after Al Capone's imprisonment. Contrary to appearances, Nitty might have been a mere figurehead, operating in the shadows while someone else held the true reins of power. This dynamic sheds light on the intricacies of the Chicago underworld during the Prohibition era, offering a glimpse into the complexities that fueled the narrative of the untouchables. The show's exploration of the criminal hierarchy, coupled with Walter Winchell's commanding narration, adds a layer of authenticity to its portrayal of a bygone era. The interplay between on-screen personas and historical realities makes The Untouchables not just a crime drama but a nuanced reflection of a tumultuous period in American history, etched into television lore by its compelling characters and bold storytelling. In The Untouchables, Elliot Ness stood tall as an FBI special agent, a portrayal that diverged from his real-life role as a Treasury Department agent. This subtle shift in identity added a layer of dramatic flair to the series, blurring the lines between fiction and historical reality. Notably, the series pilot, Westinghouse de Zulu Playhouse, The Untouchables, Part 1, and Westinghouse de Zulu Playhouse, The Untouchables, Part 2, saw only Robert Stack as Elliot Ness, and Abel Fernandez as William Yunfalo reprising their roles. The rest of The Untouchables team underwent recasting, emphasizing the significance of Stack and Fernandez in anchoring the show's continuity. Agent Jack Rossman, the fifth member of The Untouchables, may have appeared in 64 episodes, but his character often operated in the shadows, with little or no lines of dialogue. This unique aspect of the series showcased a deliberate choice in character development, contributing to the overall intrigue of the narrative. In exploring these facets, The Untouchables emerges not just as a crime drama but as a series that skillfully navigated historical truths and creative liberties. The casting choices, the blurring of agency roles, and the selective development of characters all played a crucial role in shaping the iconic status of this television classic, underscoring its lasting impact on the crime drama genre. As we bid adieu to the gripping tales woven within the fabric of the untouchables, let the echoes of 1959 resonate within your thoughts. The vintage allure of this television masterpiece has transcended time captivating hearts with its enigmatic narratives and charismatic characters. As the curtain falls, take a moment to delve into the recesses of your memory. Was it the unyielding pursuit of justice that left an indelible mark on your soul, or perhaps the clandestine dance between law and disorder that ignited a spark within? Whether you found solace in Elliot Ness' unwavering resolve or reveled in the intoxicating charisma of the underworld, your connection with the untouchables is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. In this shared journey, your reflections become the mosaic of our collective experience. What secrets lie in the vault of your favorite moments? Was it the palpable tension of a high-stakes showdown or the subtle nuances that breathed life into the characters? As the credits roll, we invite you to share the treasures of your thoughts, weaving a tapestry of nostalgia that transcends the boundaries of time. In the vast expanse of our digital agora, let the conversation flow. Your anecdotes and musings are the threads that bind us, creating a living tapestry of appreciation for this timeless classic. Unleash the floodgates of your sentiments, allowing the ripples to traverse the interconnected web of enthusiasts who, like you, find solace in the magnetic allure of this iconic series. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the annals of the untouchables. Your time and interest are the bedrock upon which the legacy of this timeless tale continues to thrive. Until our narratives intertwine once more, cherish the memories and revel in the echoes of a bygone era. Crafted with admiration and gratitude.